Hi, it's Maristall with another edition of Business Spotlight. We're with uh, Lisa Sachs of Lisa Sachs Designs to talk about interior and exterior designing. The holidays are coming up and it's a great time for you to like, look at your homes and see what Lisa can do for you. Lisa, it's great to be with you. Um, we're sitting here in one of your clients' homes. It's been beautifully redecorated. Why don't you explain a little bit about what you did to this particular home? Sure, this is one of my showcase homes in East Brunswick. We started uh, with the living room, dining room, a complete remodel, except for the uh, dining room table and chairs. We reupholstered the chairs. Our inspiration was this beautiful rug uh, that uh, really determined the color scheme, and we purchased all new furniture. Some furniture, uh, one piece, a curio, was purchased on Craigslist. Everything else was brand new. We did wall coverings and custom window treatments. Uh, refinish the floors and uh, accessorize the whole room and it meets the function and the needs of my client and they're very satisfied in using the room often. It is gorgeous and obviously it just you mentioned so many different details it obviously takes a lot of talent where did you where did you come across all that uh, wonderful talent? Well, I attribute my talent to my dad, who unfortunately I lost about nine years ago, but he was an artist, he was an art collector, he was a painter, and I grew up in a home with avant-garde furnishings, Persian rugs, fine art. He was a, uh, a collector, he bought and sold art through Sotheby's. So this has been around me all of my life and it has inspired me greatly. Um, like I said, since I was a child, I have lived and dreamed about interior design, and I was given an opportunity in 1998 to enter the design field just in decorative accessories, and I did that for a while. I then moved into soft furnishings, which is uh, window treatments and bedding. Um, as you can see from this master bedroom, this was the first project that I did in this client's home. We did all custom bedding, custom window treatments, and pulled the whole room together with new carpeting and wallpaper and accessories. So this bathroom was a main bathroom in this ranch style home. Uh, it's the bathroom that uh, guests will use. So the client wanted a beautiful, elegant powder room, but with a bathtub. Um, so as you can see, we did all travertine marble uh, in this bathroom. It's very elegant, yet comfortable and natural, and they're very pleased with the results. What services does your company perform for, for clients? Because every client has different wishes. Well, we do, I do interior and exterior design. I do residential and commercial, and uh, I do everything involved in all of the projects in interior design, from uh, wind custom furnishings, window treatments, flooring, wall coverings, uh, and doing the final touches, the, the finishing touches, the accessories. Well, when you say exterior design, what exactly does that entail? The exterior of a home is the first impression and it, curb appeal is extremely important. So we did paint colors, we changed the lighting out. The lighting was actually very small and inappropriate for this size home, so we put new lighting in. We changed the mailbox, we coordinated the color of the shutters to match the existing brick. Uh, we did uh, landscaping work, and as you can see, the home looks beautiful and has very nice curb appeal. In the backyard, we also did some landscaping. We did this beautiful pond waterfall area, which the client has been enjoying from the inside, from their sunroom. We also did an outdoor living room. Uh, we used furnishings as well as an outdoor rug to ground the area. We used accessories and plant material to pull it all together. With the exterior, do you work with like particular uh, landscapers or you work with the client's landscapers? How does that usually work? I have a particular landscaper that I prefer to work with. However, I will uh, consult on design projects with uh, my clients' landscapers as well. And we all know that people have many different tastes. You know, some might maybe want traditional, some might want modern. How do you work with the particular clients on that? I actually like to foster the client's own unique style. So I use these labels, traditional, modern, contemporary, mid-century modern, as a framework for my client's style. However, I allow them to develop their own style and foster that so that they are comfortable within their own surroundings. How has the internet, you mentioned before that you found something on Craigslist, has the internet expanded your ability to get like those unique items? 
Absolutely. Um, we do a lot of shopping on the internet. I wouldn't recommend purchasing seating uh, objects or furniture uh, over the internet because it's very important to be able to sit in what you're purchasing. However, almost everything else, the resolution of the photos on the internet are, are very good and the resources are limitless. And we, as I mentioned in my uh, early statement, we're rapidly approaching you know, the holidays. It's a great time to redecorate your house because uh, we always have, always have friends and family over. How does someone get in touch with you to utilize your services? They can call me at 732-266-6558. They can also reach me via email at L-A-S-A-C-H-S, L-A-S-A-C-S, at AOL.com. We'll set up an initial consultation where I'll discuss their objectives and their budget. Budget Budget's very important to, to discuss at the uh, forefront. Uh, I will also show my portfolio, dis discuss my terms and conditions, and get to know each other, which is very important. Uh, uh, the relationship in a design project is extremely important. I imagine because, again, it, it's not just like you, you walk in and say, I want that and that. It, it's an ongoing relationship as the work develops, I would imagine. It's an ongoing relationship, and projects always evolve. Uh, I do everything from paint consultation, which could be a one-hour service to determine a color for one particular room, to paint color for the entire house because each room has to flow into the other. I do remodels. I do new construction. Uh, whatever the project is, we discuss it, and it becomes its own unique project. In closing, is there any tip that you want to share with uh, our viewers? Yeah, actually, the, the most important thing that clients can do in a design project is to actually look through magazines, look through online applica applications. Um, there's a particular app called House where you can uh, look at rooms or projects or furnishings and bookmark those things to determine what you like and what you don't like, which is equally as important to what you like. That will help develop your own unique style uh, and, and the process will evolve from there. Well, Lisa, I appreciate you spending a few moments with myself and all the viewers. It, the house is absolutely gorgeous, both inside and outside. And I would encourage everyone at home who has the decorating skills that I have, which is zero, to contact someone like uh, Lisa Sachs, who can work with you both on the exterior and interior design of your home. As we like to say in East Brunswick, we shop East Brunswick. And in this case, let's design with East Brunswick. Give Lisa a call. Thanks for watching.